Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a rainbow French tip look with these new gel art polish liners from Beatles Gel Polish. And this set is called the Unicorn Dreamy Pastel Gel Art Paint. So this set comes with 12 pastel spring type polishes. I'm really excited to try these out. I have some of their other gel liners and I really like them. They're pretty opaque. Because the set comes with 12 polishes, the gel liners are a little bit smaller than the other gel liners they have. They're five milliliters. But if you're just doing your own nails, these will definitely last you a long time. One of the liners is white and then you have 11 different pastel colors. And I'm going to show you a close-up of a few of the colors that I'll be using today for my nail art look. If you don't want to buy like nail art brushes, these are a really good alternative to do nail art on your nails. So I'll leave a link to my Amazon store so you can pick these up. This entire set was only $25 from Amazon, so a really great price. I'm going to be doing a pastel rainbow nail art design. So I'm using the pink, the orange, the yellow green, blue, and purple. I actually only used the purple on my thumb because the other nails weren't really long enough. I would have covered up too much of my nail. But I think the final result turned out really well. So the pink is called Sachet Pink, the orange, Mock Orange, the yellow is Afterglow, the green is Ice Green, and the purple is Lavender Fog. Before we get started with the nail tutorial, if this is your first time here, welcome. I do nail art videos every week, and if you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment letting me know what your favorite pastel nail art design is. All right, so let's get into this nail art design. I'm starting with this strawberry milk base from Cocoist. It's this really pretty sheer base coat that has like a, you know, slight pink tint to it. So this is really nice for French tip nails. And this is kind of like a color and a base coat all into one so I can skip the base coat. So for my nails, I did prep my nails since I am using gel polish. So I just pushed back my cuticles and then lightly buffed my nail with the nail buffer to you know, roughen up the surface a little bit so the gel polish can stick better. And remember, I am using gel polish, so with gel polish, you have to use a UV or LED light to cure the polish. So I applied two coats of that base coat, and you can see it's a nice sheer pinky color. Now I'm starting with my rainbow French tip design. So I'm starting with the pink on top, and I'm just basically outlining my nail shape. My nails are kind of like a mix between an oval and almond shape right now. I'm not the best at shaping my nails, so they're not perfectly oval or almond, <laughs> but you know, I try my best. But I thought this was a perfect time to do these rainbow nails since they are that curved shape. So I started with the pink and I cured in between each of the colors. Not a few, I didn't do a full cure, I just kind of cured for maybe like 10 to 20 seconds. And I'll do a, f a full cure at the end. But I just wanted to make sure the colors didn't mix together. So I'm just carefully outlining the colors. There were a couple colors that I had to do a second coat on. I think like the yellow. And I think I did a second coat on the pink as well. But the other colors, like one coat was fine. And you do kind of want to do it, you don't want to apply it too thick. And you have to be careful with these liners too because the gel polish does like to run down the tip of the brush. So that was my only issue, like it just wasn't thick enough to not run. So just make sure to wipe off the brush really good because it will run down the brush and ruin your look. But with gel polish, the good thing about it is you can take, you know, a nail, like a, a cleanup brush and some acetone or alcohol and just kind of clean up a little bit. As long as you haven't cured, you can clean up. 
So, you know, I'm not trying to be too perfect with this. Just trying to get the lines as straight as possible and make sure to fill in any gaps. But you can see these liners are pretty good. They're very, they're pretty opaque for pastel polishes. You know, pastel polishes are typically a lot thinner and do usually require more coats than other polishes. But for the most part, these are really good. So I did see a picture of this design on Pinterest. So it was really cute. If I can find the Pinterest post, I'll try to link it. But they did it in like, you know, normal rainbow colors, not the pastel version that I did. But, you know, I did like a spring version of it. And also at the end, after I finish my rainbow, I'm going to do a, few, a full cure. And then I'm going to apply a white flower. So that's what I'm doing here. This set comes with a white gel liner brush, so I'm using that. And taking a small dotting tool and just applying a few dots on my nails. So I applied a flower to my ring finger, my middle finger, and my thumb, so not on all the nails. And for some of them I did four flowers, for some of them I did three. After I apply the dots on my nail, the gel polish is still wet, and I'm taking a thin liner brush. I guess if you wanted to, you can use the gel liner brush, the white gel liner brush to do this, but you know, I like to take a clean liner brush that I have and just kind of form the petals. So I'm basically dragging that dot into the center so it forms a flower petal. And then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to cure this in the lamp, do a full cure, 60 seconds. And then I'm going to take a gold gel polish. The gold does not come in the kit, but I used the gold that I had and just applied a gold dot into the center of the nail, you know, to have like that little center for my flower. And then I cured this in the lamp. So I'm just going to show you my UV glove. I picked this up from Amazon too. It just protects my hand from the UV light. So I highly re recommend this because it's like, you know, sunscreen. You want to protect your skin from the sun. This protects my skin from the UV light. So I really like this. Make sure to apply it before you start your doing your nails. So this is the final look. You can see I have my two flowers and on my pinky and my index finger, I didn't apply flowers. I just left it the rainbow, but I really liked how this looked and I still have this design on. It's been on for a week and it held up really well. I really loved it. I applied a glossy top coat at the end and I think this is the perfect spring design. I highly recommend these Beatles gel liner kits. Very convenient to do nail art. I'm going to definitely do a couple more looks with the gel kit. But if you're interested in purchasing this kit, I'll leave a affiliate Amazon link in the description box so you can check it out. Now, of course, I have to finish my nails with some of my cuticle buddy. I do have a discount code if you're interested in purchasing um, cuticle oil from cuticle buddy they have a whole bunch of different scents and it's so convenient and easy to apply you can just carry this with you definitely use cuticle oil two to three times a day to moisturize your nails this will help your nails grow healthy and strong so i just apply that to the top of my nails and, and behind my nails to moisturize it and you can see my nails are actually like getting pretty long definitely a lot longer than they usually are so I definitely recommend this cuticle oil. But that's the final look. Let me know what you think of this design in, this, in the description box. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button so more people can see this video. Alright, bye y'all.